while uh, I would like to say it's basically it's it's difficult to reach the gentleman and this is a police station number eventually uh, actually it is completely impossible and right now it's just six minutes after six minutes after three o'clock after 1500 hours as you see it right there Oh, check this out. I guess that uh, we're just going to have to try some other day or later. What exactly would later be? I do not know. He never got a hold of me. Never called back. Never anything from the him. Uh, never heard, ever seen. Today's already May 20. 2020 and there is nothing really going on as well, I think this is kind of worthy to take note of it seems as uh, if entire police uh, is busy today I'm not really sure what the issue might be And I have to say, I only called once. I only called him once uh, in between uh, our meeting. Okay. Only called gentleman uh, once between our meeting and our meeting already was, wow, that was over a month ago already. So this seems. Uh, to be uh, not a very serious police investigator uh, and I think the issue goes concerns more entire police not him alone yeah Just a little earlier, I could not even reach this number again, and today is the 28th May. You can see what the police looks like contacting police this is basically what it looks like today is august the 5th of 2020 and there's just one day left for me to stay at this very location now the video concerns individual who supposedly have investigated my case which I have submitted to the state prosecutor on April the 7th of 2020 but something I have to say I have proof about his involvement in Ultra because I have recognized the staff uh, at one of the entrances to this 
prosecutor's office. Uh, from security officers to employees working behind the uh, shelter. I knew the people, I recognized them. People also recognized me in a way that they signaled. State prosecutor was very slow forwarding the case to investigating police officer Piyovsky is his name. Uh, who, however, was updated about after conducting interview with me in respect to complaint and complaint concerned vehicle Škoda Felicia, a scam vehicle. A vehicle is a total lemon vehicle, a total scam. He eventually was updated about my present location upon my arrival to this location on the telephone number which he have supplied me with during the interview he had with me. And for everything I said, of course, I have proofs. In this case, audio recordings again. So the number you're about to see definitely is his telephone number. I did not bother in obtaining a phone call, which I have also audio recorded, and it concerns my updating him through the telephone number you see, therefore this is a valid telephone number, about a present location, as I have stated. As soon as I arrived here, I did so, uh, just to be afterwards totally ignored. I have never heard from him and the best about it all is that whenever I call this number uh, this man would not even bother to answer the phone call. I think I'm not even sure whether I was blocked or I don't know what he did but no matter whatever I would try to do uh, the phone calls would just not go through. What you are about to see are just few attempts to reach him, but I have other uh, cases as well that I am just not going to bother with right now to present, but this is enough to, to demonstrate that man did not even bother to answer the telephone calls for me. That I would go and visit him all the way to center of the Luoch from this location here does not cross my mind because it's a really far away. If you would go walking probably it would take at least at least one way, probably three hours at least. Uh, and you know doing such a thing with I don't know at least six kilos on my spine on my back that would do me actually no good. You know how things are. Um, State prosecutor therefore was given a complaint which took me about one week to create one from first creating one in English and translating them to Polish and then writing one on a paper. This is what they demand. Hand write one. Uh, print that and deliver that to their offices on April 7, 8. Uh, was I'm not going to say inter interrogated, but interviewed by this police officer. Never heard from him ever since and became evident one was also involved in a homicide plot I deemed to be. Uh, something I represented have taken place, well, no, what, maybe not even two weeks ago. Not too far from here, we're engaging in a job search. I had a gentleman who attempted to, well, he did attack me with base from the hole. Uh, he attempted to provoke an incident which easily could lead directly to fatality. And I claim for this man to be a good friend of a police officer. Uh, whom I have presented the case and it's against whom tomorrow I will file the police complaint at the police station uh, along 
another individual who acted against me with an act of force the other day. Um, so these are just, uh, just something that I'm going to supplement the procedure from Polish immigration, which totally ignored my case, immigration case. As you know, on several attempts when I file a complaint about immigration procedures in Poland alone, nothing came out other than ignoring me, and it was the same thing in with Zgiersh police. With Zgiersh police, once I reported, the same thing happened. Uh, or a report just to be basically ignored. So I was ignored time and again. Ignored and ignored and ignored. But what followed up on me uh, upon my filing all these reports uh, and with the police and with immigration, I will not forget, by the way, the phone calls I made to the Warsaw to the 911 number. Eventually, when I was encouraged to literally take, get myself into a physical confrontation with the individual in Grotnika, whom they have placed in my room, and stuff like this. This stuff I will not forget. Now, there never was any police assistant, assistance, but in return, I was stalked, literally stalked with the sirens. Literally stalked with the sirens wherever it would go, whether that would be an uh, emergency vehicle that would involve the fire emergency vehicle. Um, when I was over there at Kachuski, go 69, I was right next to the fire station. I would have fire vehicles blasting. Uh, and what might even be the same kind of weapon that was used on me by the individual upstairs when I would actually hear the sirens wow 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 and I would open the door and there would be no siren whatever this guy upstairs was using uh, while being next to the forest at this location here, far away here from the Matka Polka Health Center. Uh, regardless of it, when I would go out, if this dude would not be blasting me inside, whenever I would step out, and this is yet another proof that cameras are here all over the interior, on also not only exterior, I would be listening the sirens here all the time. It felt like I would be not in a lurch. It felt like I would be somewhere in a New York or something like this. But this is not even in a New York, the case like this. You hear the sirens here all the time, all the time. I don't know. If it's not for the police vehicles that would cut in front of me if I would approach to the main street here with lights on, uh, or private security vehicles, or ambulances, or fire rescue vehicles, I would have here, this location, I would have fire rescue vehicles no longer even over there where I was next to the fire station. I would have here already fire rescue vehicles with the lights on flashing back and forth. Crazy stuff going on. GPS taking me in the wrong directions all over the city around here and stuff like this. Um, this is the only follow up I would got so far from the police and stuff like this that would involve literally getting me into uh, in a situation like I have faced with this individual when he literally assaulted me with. Based from the oh whatever yeah that's just a little bit too far now this this here this is the individual you can get the type the idea about the type of individual involved in this in this MK Ultra case this is the individual that have afterwards that. State prosecutor have given him 
the case which I have reported to him to investigate. You never heard from him, no. But I do remember that he is a personal acquaintance, friend, that he made a friend with this guy, during MK Ultra. Who, by the way, this guy was some kind of driver, something like this. From his house, maybe he used to work about. I don't know, maybe 100 or 150 meters, something like this, on some kind of a parking lot. I don't know whether he was a park attendant or he was a driver, something like this. And through my case, eventually, this is what he told me, he became uh, an, an ambulance vehicle driver for this health center in front of his house. Just like this, basically. And he got this letter to the police. And individual that you have seen does not even pick up the phone. This is the individual that is became his friend, his personal acquaintance, and this is what supposed to be. I never heard from. Investigated my vehicle car purchase theft. 